All right, and we are live. Good evening po sa inyo lahat mga kaguro. And of course, welcome back to Gurong Pinoy. We would like to welcome our newbies no, sa mga kakatune in pa lamang. Mga first time manood ng ating live stream, welcome po. Good evening sa inyong lahat. Ganun din po sa ating mga veterano, no, sa members ng ating Team Thunders, yung mga, mga matatagal ng estudyante ng Gurong Pinoy, of course. We welcome all of you back. Most especially the members of Team Piaget. Again, the benefits of becoming a member of Team Piaget is that you can answer our quizzes, you can have all the copies of all the materials that we have. You can easily download the materials. There's a full-length video in our Team Piaget, you now in our group. There's also free pre-board and free final coaching. So tonight, we are still going to continue with your final coaching. This is in completion of your general education. So tonight's discussion is going to be from number 76 until 100 of your general education. Now, we still have our promo. No, we have Barkada promo right now. If you are a group of three, then there is one member that's free. Okay, so one one of you will not be paying. Okay, our membership fee. If you are a group of five, two members are gonna be free. If you are a group of ten, five members are gonna be free. This is only going to be until January thirty first. So again, whenever we have promos like this, make sure that you grab that chance. This membership is good until September 2022. So again, if you'll be taking the left in September, in June, or in March, grab this chance, become a member of Team Piaget, and I'm sure that you are not going to regret becoming a member of Gurung Pinoy's Team Piaget. Now again, as I've mentioned tonight, we are going to discuss general education. This is items, or these are items 76 until 100. This is still part of your final coaching, and again, the items that we are going to be discussing are those that are part of your pre-board. Okay, so parte sila ng pre-board ng ating Team Piaget. Now before we start with anything else, of course, let's all have our opening prayer. We thank you for this new day, Lord. Help us to embrace all that it may hold for us, to hear the bird song and have new melodies in our hearts, to see the sunrise and create beauty with our hands, to touch the leaves that grow afresh, and allow your love to touch our hearts, to smell the fragrance of the flowers and breathe in the wonder of your creation, to dwell on the beauty of our world and study and fathom your miracles to enjoy the conversations we have and the lessons we go to. May we drink in all the goodness you have for us. Amen. All right, so sa muli, we would like to welcome the members of Team Piaget at ganun din po yung mga nanonood sa atin sa ating Facebook page and also, of course, on our YouTube channel. But again, gentle reminder, if you're watching us on our Facebook page, also on our YouTube channel, your video is just a snippet. No? So napuputol po yung video natin sa ating Facebook page at sa ating YouTube channel because, of course, we are giving the benefit to the members of our Team Piaget, yung mga um, sinusubaybayan talaga nating estudyante. So again, please do become a member of Team Piaget. It's very easy to become a member of Team Piaget, just send us a message to our Facebook page. That's Gurung Pinoy. Again, we still have our Barkada promo for group of three, groups of five, and groups of ten. Meron po mga members na libre. Okay, so grab the chance. Look for your Kabarkada, no? And mag-send po na message sa ating Facebook page. Huwag po kayo magpapadala sa mga nagbibenta ng mga materials. So maraming taglipan ng nagbibenta ng materials na 100 plus, 200 plus. At kung saan-saan kinukuha yung materials na meron kami nakikita mga materials materials galing si Gurung Pinoy. Uh, meron din mga materials galing sa old naming uh, review center and study link. But then again, these materials have no discussion. No? Mas maigi po yung dinidiscuss, yung iniisa-isa yung ating uh, items, yung ating choices, kagaya ng itong ating ginagawa through our videos. Okay? So again, uh, Guru Pinoy's membership is very affordable. So please do not hesitate. Send us a message to our Facebook page. Again, that's Guru Pinoy. Please do like this video. And of course, share this video. Start a watch party. Tag your friends. You can also support us by sending us stars while watching us live on Facebook and by sending us your super chats super stickers while watching us live on our YouTube channel. Go ahead, please like this video, share this video, okay, at magtag po ng inyong friends, maghanap po ng inyong kabarkada if you'd want to avail the kabarkada promo. Good evening po sa inyong lahat, mga newbies natin, no? newbie from Pangasinan, Ma'am Jova Vale Aquino, good evening. Good morning, wow. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Nirhada Taraman. Good morning po sa aming preggy and pretty 
coach mat. Napakalamig dito ngayon. No? Gusto ko nga mag, mag hood. Gusto ko mag, mag sombrero. Sobrang lamig. Okay, so good evening po sa inyong lahat. Again, welcome, welcome sa ating mga newbies. Sa mga nagbabalik nating mga dating members no, na siguro ngayon ay meron ng um, schedule for their let. Welcome back po. Okay, good evening po sa inyong lahat. Again, magpa-member na po kayo sa Team Piaché. It is good, no? The membership is good until it's valid until September 2022. So kahit na um, wala pa po kayong schedule for the let po, pwede na po kayong magpa-member, no? Lagi ko nga sinasabi, the more time you have in preparation for the let, the more chance you have to pass it. Okay, ayun, sabi ni Ma'am Nirahada Taranan, uh, may nag-offer po coach, 1K binibenta, pero yung mga answers, maraming mali. Yes, no? So maraming mali-mali. Merong mga nagbibenta ng 100 plus, 200 plus, pero walang explanation, mali yung answers. And so, minsan po ay napapahamak pa kayo, no? So, magpamember na lang po kayo sa Team Piaché. It's again, very affordable. And of course, that's good until September of 2022. Okay. All right, please do like this video, share this video. Mag-like na po ng ating video. There's 400 plus of us right now. Almost 500. Please like this video and of course, share this video. How can I join the membership po, Sir Julian? Again, please just send a message to our Facebook page. Okay, mag-send po kayo ng message sa ating Facebook page. Diyan po kung saan po kayo nanonood ngayon. Okay, we start with question number one. Basahin ko lang to Facebook user, hindi ko po nakikita yung inyong name. Ako ma'am, batch 4 pa. Dito pa rin ako sa Gurong Pinoy kasi sulit ang review, power ang explain action. Maraming maraming salamat po. Okay, hindi ko lang nakikita yung inyong name. Okay, we start with question number one. Or right, number seven, six for this, um, for this discussion. Again, these are item 76 until 100. So this is in completion of your general education of pre-board. Okay, question number 76. We are already in part of the social studies. The Congress of the Philippines is a national legislature that is bicameral in nature. Its known characteristics are as follows, except one. Is it letter A, the Senate is composed of 24 senators in which half are elected every six years. Letter B, the House of Representatives do not represent sectoral groups. Letter C, the senators do not represent any geographical district. Or letter D, there are more than 250 House of Representative members. Okay, which one is your choice for number 76? Sir Tisoy Carmona, good evening po. New member from Mindanao. Sa Agusan del Norte, third batch pa for March pa si Sir Tisoy. Good evening po. Okay, what's your choice for number 76? Number 76 na po tayo. Si, si Ma'am Genevieve magmanlak na, sabi ni Ma'am Genevieve. Exam na sa January 30, mas kinakabahan pa sa result ng swab test kaysa sa exam. Mag-ingat tayo, no? siguraduhin hindi tayo mag-positive. So yung mga kukuha ng let uh, this this January 30, no? make sure that you already start with your quarantine. Ano na nga ngayon? 22nd na. No? So dapat eh, hindi na masyadong lumalabas ng bahay. Sir Adolfo Pimentel Mari, yes, nakikita po kita. Good evening po. Bakit blurred? Ma'am Saisai Ampatua, hanapin niyo po yung three dots at i-change niyo po yung video quality. Okay, I see letter Bs, a lot of letter Bs in our comment. Ma'am Norilyn Ramones, ganun din po, malabo. Hanapin niyo po yung three dots at i-change niyo po yung video quality. Diyan po sa side ng inyong video. I-press nyo lang po yung video para makita nyo yung three dots. Okay, letter B, karamihang choice niyo. Ma'am Mercy Grace Gaho, maraming maraming salamat po for your super chat, your super sticker. Okay, 
Now, going back to our question here, the Congress of the Philippines is a national legislature that is bicameral in nature. When you say bicameral, no meron tayong two houses sa ating Congress. So meron kang house ng Senado at meron ka din naman yung mga congressmen mo. No? So two houses, the upper house and the lower house. Ika nga. Its known characteristics are as follows except one. We are looking for the exception. That means we are looking for something for the choice that is not a characteristic of our Congress. Okay, now we know that letter A is correct. The Senate is composed of 24 senators. Half are elected every six years. The House of Representatives do not represent sectoral groups. Letter C, the senators do not represent any geographical district. Alam natin na pag senator, eh, national yung hawak niya, no? hindi pareha sa ating mga congressmen na merong distrito. So tama din itong letter C natin. There are more than 250 House of Representatives members. This also correct. And so the correct choice here, the, the one that we're looking for is letter B. The House of Representatives do not represent sectoral groups. Bakit mali ang letter B? Because of course the House of Representatives have what we call the party list. And yung party list natin, yung nagre-represent ang ating sectoral groups. And let's take a look at our slide. Okay, here. So your party list system can actually help create a healthy de democracy, providing a citizen's voice in Congress and in local government. The Philippine party list system aims to increase the representation, particularly of marginalized and underrepresented sectors and enhance transparency and accountability leading to more efficient government. 20% of the 260 seats in the House of Representatives, so tama yung letter D natin, no more than 250, yung members ng ating House of Representatives, and 20% of this are reserved or is reserved for party list. Every 2% of total party list votes cast gets a seat in the House with each party allowed only a maximum of three seats. Three seats. Now, the party list system is based on RA 7941. Okay? Yung nagiging mali lamang ngayon ay yung party list system nagiging... Uh, instrumento na din ng mga trapo, no? yung mga may-ari or yung mga representative ng ating party list systems are yung mga political dynasties din na meron tayo. No? So kahit sa amin, kahit sa, sa distrito namin, kahit or uh, party list pala is national, but kahit sa distrito namin merong uh, malaking pamilya na meron silang sariling party list. No? So yung mga senador nating iba, yung mga congressmen nating iba, meron silang kani-kanilang party list. Okay? So that defies the, the purpose of your party list system kasi dapat a marginalized and underrepresented sectors yung kanyang nire-represent at dapat eh, may, nagkaka-create siya ng healthy democracy, nagpo-provide siya ng citizen's voice. No? But what happens is that it becomes an instrument of the trapos. Okay? So um, that's something that's wrong in what's happening in our in our politics no? in, the, in the Philippines. But regardless, the correct choice, of course, was letter B for number 76. We move on with number 77. This refers to an art produced at the present period present period of time that reflects the current by utilizing classical techniques in drawing, painting, and sculpting. Is this letter A, contemporary modern art? Letter B, contemporary traditional art? Letter C, contemporary antique art? Or letter D, contemporary classical art? Sir na, plumugdang the second, nakikita kita sa comment box. Isa na siyang LPT, no? Isa sa ating mga passers. Um... From September 2021, a licensure exam. Okay, uh, minsan yung mga passers natin pabalik-balik. Baka naman, no, po pwedeng stars or po pwedeng super chat, super stickers. Maraming salamat and of course, congratulations sa ating mga LPTs. Nakapag-oath na sila, no. Kayo na yung next. Yung mga nanonood sa atin ngayon, kayo na po yung next na LPTs. Okay, so wag bumitaw. Balik po lamang dito sa Guru Pinoy and of course, be part of Team Piaché. Okay, so hayaan niyo tulungan kayo ng Gurong Pinoy at talagaan kayo ng Gurong Pinoy para maipasa niyo po yung inyong let para po makamtan niyo ang inyong pangarap na magka-LPT uh, sa dulo ng inyong mga pangalan. Okay, letter A. I see letter A's. Yes, Ma'am Rosaline. Hamuad si Sister Rosaline. Yes po, kayo na yung next. Okay, I see a lot of letter A's for number 77. Tama kaya yung letter A. Tumpak or ligwak? Okay, going back to our choice here, no, marami din namang letter D nagsasabi. 
Okay, number 77, this refers to an art produced at the present, no? Pre present period of time. Uh, when you say present period of time, we are looking for the term contemporary, okay? So contemporary po yan. When you say contemporary, that means present period of time. So when you say uh, what are some contemporary songs that you like, so that means yung mga songs na meron tayo ngayon, in the 80s, in the 90s, in the 70s, no? So, present period of time, that is the meaning of the term contemporary. Now, sabi dito ng question mo, it reflects the current, no? The current because it's contemporary, but it utilizes classical techniques, okay? So, that means contemporary and classical, combination of contemporary and classical. And so, the correct choice here is letter D, contemporary classical art. And dyan lahat ng tips mo, no? Sa inyong question. Now, remember, I always tell you, you need to always analyze the questions, usually yung answers nyo nandyan sa ating question, especially pag prof ed, no? although this is gen ed, meron pa rin namang mga items na very obvious yung magiging sagot niyo based sa ating words, sa ating questions. So sabi dito, present period of time, that's contemporary and using or utilizing classical techniques. So that's a combination of contemporary and classical art and so letter D is tumpa. Okay, medyo maraming naligwak. Okay lang yan. No? At least dito, mali sa actual app. Alam nyo na kung ano yung magiging choice niyo. So number 77, di po ang ating tumpak na choice. Number 78, Confucianism was officially adopted and given exclusive patronage by... Emperor Wu, of which dynasty was the reign of Emperor Wu? Is it letter A, Song Dynasty, letter B, Han Dynasty, letter C, Qin Dynasty, or letter D, Ming Dynasty? Okay, so these are about the dynasties in China. Okay, ano kaya ang ating choice? Ma'am Ariana Chua, ano po yung advice niyo, Ma'am Mek? For January takers, balikan niyo po lahat ng ating mga videos. No? There's so many videos sa ating uh, YouTube channel. There's over 300 videos na nandyan sa ating YouTube channel, especially nasa live stream natin. Ulit-ulitin niyo po yan. Halos lahat po ng items nandyan. Okay, so that's according to the testimonies of our LPTs. No? So, Balikan niyo po yung lahat. Sir Mark Anthony Petilia Sion, ma'am, ongoing pa po ba yung promo sa membership? Yes po, mag-send po kayo ng message sa ating Facebook page. Diyan po, later. Uh, kung saan po kayo nanonood ngayon. Okay, I see a lot of letter Bs sa ating comment. Okay, tama kaya yung letter B, tumpak kaya, or ligwak na naman kaya, genocide kaya yung mangyayari. Okay, so again, Confucianism was officially adopted and given exclusive patronage of or by Emperor Wu. Of which dynasty was the reign of Emperor Wu? And the correct choice here is letter B. That's the Han Dynasty. Okay, so letter B is Tumpak. Han Dynasty po yung ating hinahanap. Okay, now Emperor Wu of Han, kaya siya uh, belonging to the Han Dynasty, no? we call him Emperor Wu of Han, adopted the principles of Confucianism as a state philosophy and code of ethics for his empire and started a school to teach future administrators the Confucian classics. These reforms had an enduring effect throughout the existence of Imperial China and an enormous influence on neighboring civilizations. So we all know who Confucius is now. He is a right and um, um, upright person. No? So marami siyang tinuro. He of course has given us the golden rule. No? So do not do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you. Um, si, si Confucius meron din siyang yung five relationships na binigay. No? So sabi ni Confucius, if you follow these five different types of relationships, if you abide by these five types of relationship, uh, we are going to have a peaceful and harmonious society. So ano itong mga five basic relationships according to Confucius? As a child, you should respect your parents as a wife you should respect your husband okay the younger brother should respect the older brother okay the the um, uh, constituents should respect their leaders no but the leaders should also be uh really good leaders and also really good followers okay so those are some of the teachings of Confucius, no? Confucianism. And so letter B po ang ating hinahanap, Emperor Wu, was part of the Han Dynasty. Okay, so 78, letter B is tumpa. 79, 
Rizal had his words for the revolution. Reforms to be beneficial must come from above, and those which come from below are irregularly gained and uncertain. Rizal is a model of letter A, nonviolence, letter B, rebellion, letter C, armed struggle, or letter D, filibusterism. Okay, so what is the correct choice for number 79? Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng, magsisend, ng mga nagsisend no, ng ating stars. At sa mga magsisend pa po, maraming salamat. And of course, sa mga super chatters, super sticker senders natin, maraming maraming salamat din po. Okay, number 79, I see A's in our comment box. Some more answers, please, for number 79. Please do like this video, share this video, of course, tag your friends, and start a watch party. Okay, again, we still have our Barkada promo, so please uh, join Team Piaché, avail of our Barkada promo na habang meron pa tayong promo. So again, if you are a member of three, there is one member that's going to be free. If you're a member of five, may dala pong uh, members that are free. And if you are a member or if you are a group, okay, sorry, if you're a group of three, may one member that's free. A uh, group of five, no, may dalawang members na libre. At group of ten, may lima pong members na libre. Okay? So what you do is you just, you simply divide, no? So kukonti na lamang yung inyong magiging membership fee. That's only until the last day of January. So grab the chance. Again, membership for Team Piaget is good until September 2022. Okay? So no more month. Wala po kayong monthly payments. Wala po kayong hidden charges. So become a member of Team Piaget. Okay, 79 letter A. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, sabi ni Rizal, reforms to be beneficial must come from above, no? And those that are coming from below are irregularly gained and uncertain. So, hinahanap natin yung model na ginamit ni Rizal. Na Rizal is a model of what? Is it letter A, non-violence, letter B, rebellion? Letter C, armed struggle, or letter D, filibusterism. Now, you know rebellion and armed struggle, parehas lang naman, no? So, pag naging rebelde ka, you'd also be using arms, no? So, to struggle against the, the government or to fight the government. Filibusterism, of course, this also means um, stopping the law. Okay, so you are stopping the law. That's filibusterism. And of course, the correct choice here is nonviolence. So letter A, nonviolence, is a correct choice. Ito yung isa sa mga pinangkaiba ni Rizal at ni Bonifacio. No? Isa sa mga questions natin last last weekend, last Saturday. Na hindi yung, yung isa sa pinangkaiba ni, ni Rizal at ni Bonifacio is that Rizal was an advocate advocate of nonviolence. He was just using his pen. While si Bonifacio, of course, eh, ginamit niya yung kanyang ita. Okay, so letter A non-violence is tumpa. Okay, letter A is correct. We go to number 80. There were three movements that shaped the history of Asia. Islamification, the spread of Islam, Indianization, the, sp the spread of Hinduism and Buddhism, and Christianization, the spread of Christianity. Which among the following is the only country that was Christianized? Is it letter A, Singapore, letter B, the Philippines, letter C, Taiwan, letter D, Korea? Papunta na tayo Miss Universe dito. No? C, uh, letter A, Singapore. Letter B, Philippines. Letter C, Taiwan. Or letter D, Korea. Ano ang inyong choice for number 80? Okay, this is a very common question. And this, of course, is a question that is very familiar with all of you. Okay, so wag na natin patagalin pa. Of course, ang tumpak na choice dito ay lalayo pa ba tayo? No? Tangkilikin ang sariling atin is letter B, the Philippines. We all know that we are a Christian. No? We are a Christian country. Unlike the neighboring countries in Asia, na Singapore, marami sa kanila Buddhist. Yung Taiwan, na iba-iba din yung kanilang, um, kanilang religion. Korea, of course, there's two different factions of Korea. May North Korea, may South Korea. North Korea is a communist. No? So communist sila. And South Korea, of course, as um, 
um, democratic no, democratic kind of government. So yung mga OPA natin, yung mga K-pop natin, galing sa South Korea. Sa so North Korea naman, of course, there's a complete ban. No? So hindi sila pwedeng lumabas ng country nila. Wala silang internet, wala silang TV. No? So there, there are two different types of Korea. But of course, they are also not, not Christian. Marami din sa kanila yung... Um, atheist, no? When you say atheist, walang religion. Okay? So, wala silang religion. Letter B, the Philippines, of course, is tumpak for number 80. We move on with number 81. Of the following statements listed below, which is a part of the scientific method that will provide information to support predictions. Is this letter A, perform experiment with a controlled setup? Letter B, refer to the internet for the possible answer. Letter C, formulate scientific guess. Or letter D, interview resource persons in order to collect possible data. Okay, what's your choice for number 81? This is already part of uh, science, no? So science na tayo. Ano kaya yung tumpak na choice for number 81? Number 81, scientific method. Uh, you have your uh, situation there. No, meron, merong question. Of course, you have the given choices. So which one do you think is tumpak? Okay, number 81. Aha, uh -huh. samutsari ang ating choices for number 81. Now, hindi tayo, hindi kayo nagkasundo for number 81. May A, may C, may D. Yung wala lamang, no? yung hindi nyo lang chinus ay letter B. Walang nag letter B. Okay, so sabi dito number 81 nyo. All the following statements listed below, which is a part of the scientific method, ito yung pinaka-importanting parte ng inyong question, that will provide information to support predictions. Now remember, when you say predictions in your scientific method, you're actually talking about your hypothesis, no? yung hypothesis mo. Remember, your hypothesis is your scientific guess, your educated guess. No? So that means, X is itong letter C because that's already, that's the same, no? formulating or making making your scientific guess, making your hypothesis is already this part right here. So that means we are looking for the step na makakapag-support ng hypothesis ng inyong scientific method. Okay, so something, the step in your scientific method that would provide information, that would provide data to support your hypothesis. And the correct choice here, of course, would be letter A. You need to perform your experiment with a controlled setup. You remember uh, yung pinaka-purpose ng experimentation mo, the purpose of experiments in your scientific method, is to check whether your hypothesis is correct or not. Okay, so to, to either support your prediction or to negate your prediction. And so letter A po yung ating hinahanap dito. Kailangan ay mag-perform ka ng experiment para makakuha ka ng dagdag na data, dagdag na information to support your predictions, whether, tam whether tama yung prediction mo na tama yung hypothesis mo, or pwede din namang inigate niya yung inyong prediction or your hypothesis. Okay, let's take a look at your next slide. Remember, this is or these are the steps of your scientific, me scientific method. You always start with your observation. When you say observation, you use your different senses. Okay, so the, the sense of sight, the sense of, sense of hearing, sense of touch. Okay, so these are the different senses that you may use. Um, your observation, you have two types of observation. Na meron kang quantitative, quantitative, quantities, no may numbers. Or meron kang qualitative, qualities or characteristics. Okay, so there are two types of observation po pwedeng may quantities. Yung observation mo, say you, you say, there are 26 students in my classroom. That's a quantitative form of observation. Meron ka din namang qualitative form of observation. No? So you say, uh, say you say, um, the board is white. Okay, so quality siya, wala siyang number, no? So that's observation. You'd always start with your, your scientific method with observation. Now, from your observation, you would come up with your question, your scientific question. And then, of course, 
your scientific question would be needing a probable, a possible answer, your prediction, and you'd call that your hypothesis. And usually we say an educated guess, a scientific guess, a scientific prediction. That's your hypothesis. Now, again, I've as I've mentioned, experiments, these are ways for you to check whether your hypothesis is correct or not. Okay, so para ma-check mo, kung tumpak yung hypothesis mo or mali yung hypothesis mo, you do experimentation. Then, of course, after experimentation, you collect your data, you analyze your data, no, gather, you, you present your data, you analyze the data, then you conclude. Then, of course, you share your results. Okay, so these are the different steps of your scientific method. But then again, we're looking for letter A. No? For number 81, letter A is tumpak. Okay, we go to number 82. Which of the following is used in classifying plants based on phylogenetics? Is it letter A, chemical composition? Letter B, structural similarities? Letter C, physiological traits? Or letter D, evolutionary sequence? Okay, ligwak, okay lang po yan. Basta salet ay tama na. Okay, what's the choice for number 82? Please do like this video, share this video, start a watch party, and of course, tag your friends. And again, if you are still not a member of Team Peche, please do become a member of Team Peche. We have our promos, no? May barkada promo ko tayo for Team Peche. That's until January 31. So grab the chance, okay? Mag-send lamang po ng message sa ating Facebook page. And again, gentle reminder, if you're watching us on our Facebook page, or on our YouTube channel, your video is just a snippet. So again, to enjoy the full-length video until 100 items and to be able to download this PowerPoint presentation that I'm using, become a member of Team PSA. Okay. Ah, samutsari din yung sagot nyo. A, B, C, D. Lahat kompleto. Okay, so sabi dito, which of the following is used in classifying plants based on phylogenetics? So when you classify plants, no, that means ginugrupo-grupo mo yung mga halaman based on phylogenetics. Ano yung ginagamit mo? Is it the chem chemical composition kung ano yung meron sa halaman? Structural similarities, yung pagkakatulad, no, pagkakahalintulad ng kanilang Dahon, for example, ang kulay ng kanilang um, bulaklak. Physiological traits, physiological traits and structural similarities are the same known, but physiological would mean function. Okay, so similar sila, but your physiological naman would be talking about function. Structural, of course, would be talking about the, the anatomy of your plants. And letter D, evolutionary sequence. Saan yung unang nag-evolve? Uh, what's the most modern day type of species of plants that you have? And the correct choice here is letter D, evolutionary sequence. Okay, so evolution, kung paano nag-evolve yung plants mo, that's what we are looking for. Because the meaning of the term phylogenetics is the study of the evolutionary relationship and histories uh, among individuals or groups of organisms. In this case, for number 82, yung ating... Um, Yung ating tanong is based on plants. Ma'am Kamala Runa, pakiblock po si Ma'am Kamala. Uh, face reading kung anik-anik yung sinasabi ni Ma'am Kamala. Ayun, ako na lang. I-block ko na lang siya. Okay. Alright, now again for number 82, yung tumpak na choice natin is letter D, evolutionary sequence. That is what we are looking for in phylogenetics. Okay, we move on with number 83, the father of modern taxonomy and was responsible for classifying men as homo, homo sapiens is letter A, Aristotle, letter B, Gregor Mendel, letter C, Carl Linnaeus, or letter D, Charles Darwin. Okay, who do you think is a tumpak na choice? For number 83. 83, ano kaya yung tumpak na choice natin? Okay, number 83, there's D, there's C. Sino kaya ang ating tamang choice? 
Okay, so again, we are looking for the father of modern taxonomy. The let is always going to ask you of the fathers, no? so father ng genetics, father ng evolution, father ng taxonomy, uh, father ng behaviorism, father ng progressivism. No? So palaging may father, father. Meron din namang iilang mother na tinatanong yung, yung let mo, like mother ng Red Cross sa Pilipinas. No? So for number 83, we are being asked for the father of modern taxonomy. When you say taxonomy, this is still part of classification of organisms. No? So when you classify organisms, you put them in different kingdoms, different domains, different families, genus, different species. That would be taxonomy. No? You, you put them in different taxons, your different taxa. And uh, uh, this person was responsible for classifying man as homo sapiens. Okay, so that means this is a scientific uh, scientific name of man, no? so Homo sapiens. Yan po yung ating scientific name. Is this letter A, Aristotle? Letter B, Gregor Mendel? Letter C, Carl Linnaeus? Or letter D, Charles Darwin? And the correct choice here is letter C. That's Carl Linnaeus. In some resources, the, his name is Carolus Linnaeus, no? Sometimes Carl von Linné. Okay, so Carl Linnaeus, siya po yung ating father of modern taxonomy, yung naggrupo-grupo ng different organisms under different types of kingdom, different domains, no, different phyla. So that's uh, Carl Linnaeus. Aristotle is known as the father of modern science no, kasi siya yung uh, nag-arrange, nag, nag, uh, gumamit ng scientific data, yung pinakaunang gumamit ng scientific data, that's Aristotle. Okay, so he is usually known as the father of modern science. Gregor Mendel, of course, is known as the father of genetics. Uh, genetics, of course, is the study of the transmission of traits from parents to offspring. The, the study of heredity, no? the study of, of inheritance. So kunwari, eh, bakit naging kamukha mo yung tatay mo, naging kamukha mo yung nanay mo, combination of, the, of them, no? the two of them, hindi mo naging kamukha yung kapitbahay mo. Okay, so that's based on the study of Gregor Mendel, the father of genetics. Now, of course, si Charles Darwin naman, yung ating father of evolution. Sa, siya yung nagsabi na, we all came from the apes. No? So, uh, i-check nyo, no? pag uh, tumingin kayo sa salamin, kung may meron ba kayong similarities with the apes. Okay, joke lang po. Okay, so Charles Darwin is the father of evolution. But then again, we're looking for letter C. Carl Linnaeus, Carolus von Linnaeus, or Carl Linné, he is known as the father of modern taxonomy. Now, going back or going to our next slide, ito yung mga different uh, levels of classification na ginamit ni, ni Linnaeus. No? So, meron kang domain, then after that, may kingdom, okay, may phylum, may class, order, family, genus, and species. So, for uh, humans, our domain is domain eukarya because we are eukaryotes. When you say eukaryotes, our cells have nucleus. So may, meron tayong nucleus at meron tayong organelles. So may mga small compartments, small parts yung ating cell. We belong to the kingdom animalia. So pag sinabihan ka ng nanay mo, tatay mo na animal ka, totoo yan, no? Because we, we belong to the kingdom animalia. We belong to the phylum chordata. Okay, so that means we are chordates. Meron, that means meron tayong uh, vertebrae, meron tayong spinal, spinal column. No? Class mammalia, we are mammals. We have, of course, our mammary glands. And uh, we also belong to the order primate. Family, hominidae, genus is homo, and of course our species would be sapien. Kaya yung scientific name natin is homo, homo sapiens. Okay, so homo sapiens. When you are given the scientific name, there actually are two parts of your scientific name. The first word is the genus name, and the second word is the species name. Okay, so when you say the scientific name of humans is homo sapiens, homo is the genus name for humans, and sapiens is the species name for humans. Now remember, no, um, only organisms belonging to the same species or same species, you can pronounce this as species or species, pero uh, it would always end with the ES, no? Wala po tayong species in a word. Wala pong species. Species is both singular and plural. Okay, so again, only organisms belonging to the same species can reproduce. So ikaw at ang inyong kalabaw, ikaw at ang inyong kabayo, ikaw at ang inyong aso, kahit anong gawin mo, 
you cannot reproduce offsprings. Okay? So, hindi kayo pwedeng magkaanak because your scientific names are not the same because you do not belong to the same species. Okay? So, only organisms belonging to the same species can produce offsprings. And then, of course, this is another example, no? Now, the, uh, different levels of organisms are different levels of classification. At, and this is an ostrich. Okay, so we see that the scientific name of ostrich is Strothio camelus. Strothio as its genus name and camelus is its species name. Now, para matandaan niyo to, no? Meron tayong mnemonics na ginagamit. Dear King Philip, came over for greater success. Okay, so again, yan po yung ating mnemonics, no? Dear King Philip came over for greater success. Para po maalala nyo yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng ating domain, kingdom, phylum, class order, etc. Minsan po, uh, ina-ask ito ng let. Okay, so sometimes the let would tell you or would ask you, arrange the different levels of classification according to their order. So dapat alam yung pagkakasunod na nauuna yung domain, then kingdom, followed by the phylum, etc. So again, your mnemonics is, Dom, uh, dear, King, uh, dear King Philip came over for greater success. Sometimes they say for good spaghetti. Sometimes they say for good sex. Okay? So, depende sa inyo kung ano yung inyong uh, magiging mnemonic dito. Ay, yun, si Ma'am Rosaline humu uh, humuwad. No? Si sister, meron siyang... Uh, Meron siyang sarili niyang mnemonics. Oh. Dream ko pumasa because our family gets well though. Oh, meron. Okay, so depende. Depende po yung inyong um, magiging mnemonics. But usually if I teach, when I teach my students, ito yung ginagamit kong mnemonics na yun. So dream or dear King Philip came over for greater success. Uh, dear keep pond clean or froggy get sick. Sabi ni Ma'am Lori ni... Kanama. Okay? Basta yung importante eh, ma-remember nyo yung different levels sa inyong taxonomy. Okay? Moving on. We go to number 84, the thin structure used by amoeba for its movement, changing its, its shape and food getting is called myosin filaments, monofilaments, pseudofilaments, or letter D, microfilaments. What's your choice for number 84? Number 84, ano po yung ating choice? Okay, number 84 na po tayo. All right, again, gentle reminder for those of you who are watching us on our Facebook page, also on our YouTube channel, your video is going to, to stop. No, your video is just a snippet. So again, to enjoy the full-length video, become a member of Team Piaché. You can also download all the materials that we have in no, PowerPoint presentation at and by becoming a member of Team Piaché. So again, we still have our Barcada promo. Meron pa rin po tayong promo for our membership. The membership is until September 2022. So again, please do become a member of Team Piaché. Mag-send lamang po na member message sa ating Facebook page. Okay. My C, my D. And the correct choice here, no? Sabi ng ating question, thin structure used by amoeba for its movement, changing shape, and food getting is called, that is letter C, pseudofilaments, no? Sometimes it's called the pseudopods, no? Pseudopods ang inyong amoeba. So this right here is your amoeba, and these are the pseudopods. When you say pseudo, of course, in science, this means false. And pods would mean a foot, no? Foot or feet. So these are the false feet of your amoeba. So we are looking for letter C. Letter C po sa ating uh, question number 84. All right, we move on with question number 85. What do you think will happen when a plant cell is placed in a hypotonic solution? Is it letter A, the plant cell will shrink? Letter B, the plant cell will swell? Letter C, the plant cell will rupture? Or letter D, the plant cell will remain as is? Okay, which one is the correct choice for number 85? Number 85, which one do you think is the correct choice? Put your answers in.